I never watched Mad. TV, they're, they're like, they were like honest. they were like the Keenan and Kel of Mad TV. Oh, and Keegan Michael Key's the Kel in this situation too. <laughs> He's the Kel. Uh, Although, to, to be fair, that's does Keenan Thompson really have much to his name aside from being an SNL? I mean, he's got some good actor. movies, yeah. And he's he's developing TV shows and cartoons. He's doing a pretty good job. He's doing well for himself. Okay. Uh, and but I mean, if you're if you are in if you've worked in sketch comedy, I mean, the holy grail is to be on Saturday Night Live. So the fact that he has been on there, closing in now on seventeen years, that's he's pretty, been there, he's been there that long. He started when when I was a freshman in high school, which means you would have been in the eighth grade when he started on SNL. So probably fifteen years. Maybe 16. Well, it started in 2003, so it would be 16 now, but we're closing in on 17. Okay. you got to think seasons, too. That's right. Yeah, okay. Television seasons. But, yeah, he's now, he's now the longest-serving cast member in the show's history. So, I mean, that's you can't go wrong with that. But, he uh, made for a mean R. Kelly sketch. He did. That was, that was an amazing sketch. That was hilarious. And so many other clues. <laughs> so many other clues. Do I look over here? It starts with the Q. Is there, there a camera button? right there? Is there a camera oh, right there? Oh, that's bold. <laughs> <laughs> Go watch the Saturday Night Live R. Kelly interview sketch. It was great. It was <sighs> great. But anyway, getting back to I, we had a million points, and we didn't hit any of them. Jordan Peele is an amazing director, but he, he, he's been in comedy for so long. Now he's turning into this horror icon with Get Out. Very unexpected. Us. But he's doing it. And now he's the creator and the new host of The Twilight Zone. There's a new Twilight Zone now on CBS All Access. I want to say there's, they've already posted like one episode. One episode. It's got um, Kamal Nunjiani. I can't pronounce it. I have no idea who that is. He was the star of the movie The Big Sick. Came out a couple years. The Big Sick? Okay, you know, it was a romantic comedy. That was a big hit. Never saw it. You don't know nothing. Um, Kumal Nunjiani. Sounds like garbage. That's actually a pretty good film. And I've not seen the new Twilight Zone. Uh, word comes back from those who have, and they say it's really good. Jordan Peele. And it just it just proves that Jordan Peele is extremely creative and amazing. Watch him make... Watch him have to, like, direct an Avengers movie. <coughs> oh, <coughs> he got me so excited. I'm starting to cough. It's starting to they should make. They he should, should have direct the Joker movie. He, he should direct it. He should... They should make... Let him take on the next Star Wars trilogy. That'd be weird. <laughs> <laughs> that would definitely be very weird. Well, he said he won't although, hire. Although, yeah, he, he's got a creative imagination. No, he he won't. But and he can handle some of the humor. He can. He can. But that being said, he said he won't. He will never hire a white lead. And unfortunately, that's Star Wars and Avengers ying, at the yin yang. What you can make, you you can make the whole trilogy focus. Well, on that's fan. true. You could if it's it's a new. Well, I'm talking about Star Wars. It's a new trilogy. Yeah. So you can start something new. Very diverse cast. Yeah. All right, I'm down for it. Let's do this. Jordan Peele. Wait, he'll never hire a black lead or a white lead. Sorry. That's what he said in an interview once. Okay. And I'm like, I mean, yeah, I was fine with that. I mean, like, there's so many white leads out there already. It's nice somebody's stepping up doing something different. And we could do that for Star Wars. Jordan Peele for the next director of the Star Wars series. Get God. an all black cast for the Avengers. Yeah. It Absolutely. Could happen. It could happen. It could happen. Oh, I'm, trying, I'm trying to think of so many internet trolls up in arms over it. I'm trying to think of that. Like Captain a, America can't be black. <laughs> well, remember. Well, wait a minute. This is like the end of like this set of the Avengers, Endgame right. coming up. I guess so. So you start a whole new thing with just black uh, superheroes, or just non-white superheroes. I'm loving it. Jordan Peele, Kevin Feige, uh, Catherine, whatever her name is, does uh, Star Wars. Uh, I can't remember. Kathleen. Ka oh, Kathleen. Yeah, Kathleen. Yo, Kathleen and Fe Fiji, get get in uh, get in on this. This is huge. Kathleen Kennedy. Is it Kennedy? Maybe. Kathleen or Kennedy. Kathleen. I don't know. <laughs> Who cares? Why don't we just take a look? It's fine. Star Wars sucks now. Star Wars. Hey, it'll. I think it'll get better with this next one. Star I'm, Wars. I'm not even gonna pay CEO. attention. CEO. I've. They've lost me as a. Kathleen fan. Kennedy. You're right. Good job. They've completely lost me as a fan. Oh well, that will never happen to me. I always have faith. If I can make it through the uh, the uh, prequels and still come back, they mm. they got me for life. It's fine. Should we uh, go back? What? Well, getting back to the original point, we started this whole thing. I I don't like Adam Sandler's movies, but I'm very excited <laughs> about him coming to SNL because Saturday Night Live Adam Sandler is the best Adam Sandler. 
but they'll probably have to resurrect all of his old characters. They're going to do Opera Man on Weekend Update. You know that's going to happen. <sighs> I don't think that was a, that's a bad impersonation. That's, well, he's old. <laughs> now. He's old now. <laughs> it's, I'm just imagining Opera Man kind of groaning into the microphone. That was really like Opera Man. The funny thing uh. is, like all of his like popular quote unquote characters were Weekend Update characters, so they can really only do one. And I'm sure they're going to do Opera Man. Kind of like Canteen Boy. Canteen Boy. Avon. That was actually a pretty on. funny skit with him and Alec Baldwin back in the day, almost 30 years oh, ago. Oh, wait, no. Canteen Boy. Yeah. I'm thinking of Cajun Man. No, I, I don't even know that. Which is, another, which is another weekend update here. No, Canteen Boy. And Alec Baldwin's have is really heavy in SNL right now. That might. You, oh. may just came, you may just came up with a sketch idea, my friend. They're resurrecting an old one. Oldie but a goodie.